Hello, 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 hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just pressed the go live slash st uh, start recording button. My name is Cassandra, AKA the Daily Wealth Ninja uh, from wealthninja.biz. And I'm here today to share with you some really cool stuff on Forex trading. So if you don't know what Forex is, uh, I've put a link above or below somewhere um, with this video. And actually before I get started, let me make sure you can hear me. Because it has, I have, a, I don't know about you, but I've done videos before, um, gone on the full hour and then never, perfect. And then the sound wasn't on and that was a wonderful waste of my time. <laughs> but I'm here today to share with you some information on Forex trading. So for those of you that may not be aware, Forex trading is basically where you are buying or selling currency pairs. And if your um, educated uh, decision was correct, you will earn money. So that's the basic, very um, nutshell version of it. If you would like a free five day boot camp on that from me, be sure to uh, contact my Facebook page, Daily Wealth Ninja. Again, I put a link somewhere above below this video and send this message to it and uh, it'll come right to your inbox. All right, so today is the very first uh, in a small mini series. Hey, Jane, thanks so much for joining. Uh, it's the very first in a mini series for Forex. Hey, Arjun, thanks for joining um, on margin trading. So first of all, let's talk about that. What is margin trading? So margin trading gives you the ability to enter positions, i.e. trades, larger than your actual account has. So let's say that you had $100 in your account. You are able to um, place trades that are thousands of dollars more than your $100 account. So that so margin trading gives you that ability to trade um, at a higher a level than your account balance. So why is this important? If, if, if you did not have this leverage, that's what it's called, leverage, and I'll, and I'll cover um, the difference between margin, or not the difference, but margin trading uh, versus leverage and why they're important later, another video. Um, but the reason why you want to understand margin trading is because the only way to actually make trades is to um, use what's called a broker. Now, every broker has their own rules of play, right? And so you have to play by those rules. But the thing is, is that unless you know just a few key things about it, you might be, be choosing a broker that's not necessarily eating you out of house and home, but might have um, more expensive fees, more um, larger margin as it were and so that's going to eat into your profits it's going to potentially increase your losses and so it's important to understand these concepts before choosing a broker now i am not a licensed financial advisor uh, i'm just simply sharing with you what i've been learning on my own journey with forex and so um there you have it all right so again uh just the legal disclaimer up above right uh so let's go ahead and start so Throughout this, this mini series, I'm going to be sharing with you um, what is balance, that's what today's video is going to be about, what is equity, margin level, unrealized PL or profit loss, used margin, and free margin. Then I'm going to go into a little bit, um, a little more in depth into the margin levels as well. So that's what this series is going to cover. Let's go ahead and talk about your balance. So balance is really, really simple. It's very easy. The balance of your account is just that. It's the amount of cash that you have on hand in order to make your trades. So the thing about this is that with margin trading, without uh, a certain amount within your, your account, within your account balance, you may not have enough to be able to have margin that's required in order to make a single trade. So let's say that you had $100, right? And you wanted to put 1% uh, of your account in, which would have been um, $1. Well, let's say that your margin was whatever it might be, actually, this is a really bad math example. I, I didn't come prepared for it with a math example, but the idea is, is that if you don't have enough in there to cover your margin, so let's say that you have a have a, a, a trade and it keeps failing, it keeps losing, it keeps going down, it keeps going down. Well, if your margin, right, is is larger um, than you have left to be able to, to had, as it were, because you're using the leverage, then it's going to stop you out. It's going to close out potentially all trades that you're in, whether they're good or not good, right? And you don't want this. You want to make sure that you have a wide margin. Again, we'll talk about this in another video. But if you don't understand this, then all that stuff can happen, right? So your balance is the amount of cash in your account. And without a certain amount in there, you won't be able to cover that margin, all right? So Another way to think about your um, 
um, <laughs> your balance is that your balance is your risk capital. Your risk capital is basically the cash that you can afford to lose because forex trading just like stock trading just like any type of financial investment is an investment you have some level of risk so anything that you use for your account must be things that you are okay with losing okay so that is your risk capital the cash that you can afford to lose all right so how is your balance actually affected there are i believe three one, two, three. Yes, there are three ways that your balance can be affected. Either you add money or take away to it manually, right? You either put more in, maybe you got your paycheck, or maybe you had some other cash flow come in, so you add to your account. Or maybe you're taking a, um, a percentage out of what you have earned within your account. You don't take it out of the total because then you're, you're potentially um, actually hurting your investment opportunities. Um, but you will, let's say you want to take money out because you've made some, maybe you made 200 bucks this week and you want to take out half of that to take your significant other on a date. I don't know. That's one way, right? You manually putting in or taking out of your, of your, of your um, account. Then the second way that, that, that you can actually have uh, effect on your balance is whenever your trades are closed. If your trades are closed, they either close in the red or in the blue. And of course, um, on certain uh, platforms, they can have different colors, but let's just say red and blue. In general, blue means that you made money if your trade closed. Red generally means that you lost money if your trade closed. So if your account balance, um, uh, or excuse me, when your trades were closed, unless they were black, right, and they just didn't make, make or, well, actually, it still affects your balance. Um, when those trades close, they affect it. So they are make money or, or you lose money, right? The third way is through fees. So there's something called a swap fee or a rollover fee. These are kind of interchangeable, but basically what happens is every day, the, the markets close in some some form or fashion, right? Because you um, while Forex is open 24 hours a day, five days a week, the specific markets are not. So London, Tokyo, you know, all those. So there is one time during the day, um, I believe it's usually at the end of... I can't remember. I'll, I'll make a note of it in another video. Um, but at, at the end of one session, it's the very last session before the beginning of the, of the first one of the next day, right? So when the trading day changes over, that's when the rollover fees happen. That's when your swap fees happen. Um, some, some brokers do it immediately. Some brokers do it when the trade closes. But this is what's going to um, if affect your balance, okay? So... Um, the third option that your balance can be affected is through, oh, I just said it, you, you either add or take away funds, um, your trades are closed, and then your swap or um, rollover fees. Okay, so on those swap fees, right, these swap fees are usually small unless you're trading a very large um, lots of, uh, excuse me, position. And these can either be added to or deducted from your balance. So how can a swap fee be added to your balance? I will be getting this to you guys a little bit later, but basically there are some currency pairs where if you have a, a um, trade still in when it, when it rolls over to the next trading day, because of the way that it works between the currency pairs, you actually are paid um, if it rolls over. So again, um, different video for another day, but just to keep that in mind that you sometimes, sometimes might actually be paid for to hold your trade over uh, into the next day. Um, all right, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is the first video in my new mini series of Margin Trading 101 regarding Forex. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, please like this video, share it with someone you think should hear it today. And if you are on Facebook, be sure to tap somewhere up here and turn on the follow. And if you're on YouTube, tap the subscribe button right here and then the little bell so that you're notified when I next have a video for you. So again, I am so grateful that you are here today. Uh, this is one of many videos that I plan on creating regarding ways for you to uh, create and generate more wealth in your in your life to reduce income. And Forex is just one of those many, many ways to do it. So again, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.